just let everything relax. Just completely take all the tension out of the muscles. And when you've done that, nod your head. So just clear instructions at the moment. Nothing fanciful going on. Uh, what I want you to do is to imagine something in a moment. And when I say imagine it, I don't just mean think it, I mean feel it, experience it. You know, like when you're imagining you've got a spider baby, you've got a spider baby, you've got a spider baby, you've got a you know, or whatever it happens to be. So, so when I say imagination, it's all holding. So right now, I want you to imagine what it would be like if you couldn't open your eyes for whatever reason. Now, you might choose to imagine that your eyelids become so heavy that you Imagine there is nothing that you can do about it, and when you're sure that your eyes are glued and stuck together, try and open them and find you can't. And the more you try and open them, the more they genuinely stick and glue together. Really try and open them. Try as hard as you possibly can right now to open your eyes, and find that no matter how yes. hard you genuinely right now you can't open your eyes. Is that correct? Yeah? So for example, Imagine now that also that your feet were just instantly stuck to the ground. In fact, your eyes will open the moment that both of your feet stick to the ground. That's it. Just imagining and feeling that sticking as your eyes open in three, two, one. Open your eyes and now try and lift your feet and find you can't. Really try. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, what's important is at no point did I hypnotize you, yeah? You were aware of everything I said. There was no clever induction, but for some reason you can't move your feet. The weird thing is this, look, open your hand out. You might think that your feet are kind of somehow because of your posture or something, but uh, in the same way that your feet are stuck to the ground, your hand sticks to your head too. Try and move your hand or your feet. Really try. Genuinely try and move your hand or your feet. Oh, God. And there is just, just nothing that you can do about it, is there? But here's the thing, what's your name? Ryan, Ryan, okay, uh, Ryan, uh, imagine right now inside your head is your name, you can see your name in your head, can't you? Ryan is in your head, and imagine that name moving into your hand, imagine it moving into your hand until it's just in your hand, can you see it in your hand, in your, yeah, and we're just going to pull it from your mind, pull it from your mind, look at it, you can still see what it is, but it's no longer in your mind, is it? Now, and if we just close your hand and put your hand behind your back, it's out of sight and out of mind, so your name completely goes, try and remember your name, what was your name? Try and think about your name. Now you're not hypnotised, are you? I've, I've, I've not hypnotised, I've not done anything funny, no deep induction, no sleep, nothing like that at all, but you genuinely can't think of your name. But here, look, it's here. Have a look in your hand. What's your name? Ryan. Brilliant. Now just put it away, out of sight, out of mind, once more. Try and say your name. Come on. Really try. Now it's easy to undo this, so we just take your hand and we just say the name and we just pop it back into your head and your name is? Ryan. Ryan, of course it's Ryan. Uh, and you are just imagining all of this, Ryan. So what I want you to do is I want you to stop imagining that your feet are stuck. Stop imagining that in any sense that you feel under, under my influence and everything will go back to normal straight away. Look, your feet will move. Your feet are fine, yeah, yeah. Everything feels normal. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah. <laughs> hypnosis doesn't exist at all, does it? Thank you. <laughs>